This is a lot of watermelon. I found one with a booty hole too. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, your thing's broken. <gasps> yeah. It was already broke, woman. I don't really know how to do that. This gonna be some hot sauce. Welcome back, everyone. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Gerald. I'm, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm Simone with a Y. Sick with a I. Today, we're going to be getting the next part of the garden cleaned up. I can see this side is done already. So we're going section by section. We actually got started on it last week, the first section we did. But before we got started with this cleanup, we had to harvest all the stuff out of the areas that we could before we got going. So we did that also. So before we get into this cleanup today, we'll show you all that harvesting and stuff that we did leading up to the cleanup. So our plan for these onions is to process them today. We use onions in like every meal. So these probably won't last us that long. So we're just going to freeze them. We're going to chop them. We're going to dice them and then freeze them. So that's our plan for these. And with these will be like I always tell y'all, this is like my favorite thing that we grown ever. So these will come in a lot of use. Look at those roots. They're good. Yeah. Down on this end, that's where most of our big, good ones were. This big old basil bush, some under here too. So, do y'all remember we said we're gonna save seeds, so a lot of these we're gonna leave in the ground so we can get some good seed from them next year. This is the only onion variety we planted. The seeds should be good and okay to save. We should get some real good seed next year and some real good onions. Next year, we should also plant some red onions. Is that what it's called? Purple onion? Yeah, we can. Red yeah. onion? Red onion. Just had to plant them like on the other side of the garden. Why? So they don't cross pollinate. Oh. Time to cut out this big basil bush too. Mm-hmm. Look at this thing. It smells so good. That's one, this was one basil. One big old basil bush. You're right. It smells delicious. And this is what we were able to get from our onions. Not bad. Ah, your thing's broken. <gasps> Yeah. It was already broke, woman. Really? <laughs> it was already broke. Uh, oh Tragic loss. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have to mourn this for a second. We'll be right back. Right? We sure. wouldn't have glue it back. Nah. She's just going to finish him off. Still usable. We just got to be like. See, that's what, that's what happens when you have an abundance. <laughs> just it's a lot and it break your stuff. No, that's what you have when you have a husband. They just break stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is, I kind of roughly counted, about 50. It's awesome. We'll forget that happened and move on to the peppers. <laughs> Someone said we can make hot sauce with the hot peppers. I don't really know how to do that. It's going to be some hot sauce. But we'll figure it out. These are so hot. Like, I literally used not even a half of just the skins. I put the, I took the seeds out, put it in the last salsa that we were talking about, the he don't think it's salsa, <laughs> the, the sauce that we made. And it was hot. Very. So. It was good, though. But yeah, we do like heat. So we'll, we'll find something to do with these. It might be another video. one thing that always amazed me too so whenever like with anything that i pick or harvest or something the amount of seeds that are in each thing is insane so i can get these in my hand i'm gonna have to remember not to touch my eyes this isn't wise to do but that is one single pepper each one of these can make a whole one of those i mean that is hard to wrap my head around. It's like that type of abundance. Like that is insane. If it ain't got seeds, we don't want it. Yeah. And each time I like look at all them seeds and stuff too, it always makes me think of the Lord and like, wow, 
Like he really gave us something. He gave us more than enough, more than we would ever need, an overabundance of things. Like this is like this type of stuff is just natural and normal. Overabundance is natural and normal. Plenty is more than natural and normal. I mean, it's just it. I can't think right. My brain don't work. And I think about how we set this stuff up. That's why I love the garden more than anything. For real, for real. Good insight. Good, good look into the heart and the character of the Lord. Like man. That is nuts. All the ways that the Lord offers, all the things that he created, doing them in the ways that he has designed for them to be done, has called us to do, like the results and the blessings that come from it. Like this is, again, the abundance of these peppers and all these other plants. It's like a reflection of that. Each area of your life that you implement his ways and principles in will return to you blessings and an abundance of life. Christ said, I've come that you may that you may have life and have it abundantly. Reflection of this. So if you can see the abundance in the little pepper plant. John 10, 10. I, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Also, you hear the beginning of that verse? The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. What does that mean? When you're in spiritual warfare, that means there's something there for the enemy to steal, to kill, or destroy. You have something of value because he'll only come if you have something of value for him to try to take. Pay attention to where he's attacking, what he's attacking. Pay attention to the blessing he's trying to rob you from, steal you from, the truth that he's trying to get you to ignore, and you'll, you'll start getting some insight into where God is working. I'll, I'll be back. My mind is still going. Also, I think I got some pepper in my eye because it's starting to sting. So, uh, it's you not didn't learn from your kindergarten self so, or whatever grade you were. I sure didn't. There aren't really a ton of these things are so vibrant. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they mm -hmm. look like they dumb hot. Yeah, they literally look like fake little things. Like this is not real. <laughs> it's so shiny. Fun fact: in middle school, one of my friends brought a habanero to school. He used to just eat them. Like just sit in class and eat them. He'd eat them at lunch, whatever. So he asked me if I wanted one. I was like, oh yeah, sure. He gave me a little piece. The one I messed up because I just took the seed out and I ate the seed. I didn't know the seed was the hottest part. That was dumb hot. And then I was struggling. My mouth was hot like all day. But like an hour or two after he had gave it to me, I reached up to scratch my eye. Oh no. Tears, tears. Like, real ill. I found one with a booty hole, too. <laughs> you, put, you put that down. Wait, let me find it. Oh my God. Anyway, yeah, it, it was a struggle. It was definitely a struggle. It's more we're talking about booty holes. Mine was, hurting. Mine was hurting the next day from that little old seed. So I don't have a good relationship with these things. Why was he bringing hot veneros to lunch? Tomatoes left to pick really not really worth showing but we did get plenty of green beans that have gone to seed so we'll save not gone to seed but they've matured all the way so we can save these we'll replant these next year good green bean seed they're still producing too these things have been going strong all year now that we're finished with the tomatoes and stuff we can tackle these watermelon and we got some big ones to get up out of here. Is that the same big one that we was talking about the other day? No, that one over there. Look at it. Yeah. Lots of watermelon. I can see the leaves starting to die. It's been a little cold at nighttime the past few weeks. The watermelon don't like that, so. It's time. It's time. It's time for us as well. Yeah. You got it? Lift with your knees. Yes. two of like 30 how many okay i'm gonna say 25. this is a lot of watermelon a whole bunch and i say we're only a little bit past halfway done really yeah there's <laughs> a lot still over there it's a good workout guys yeah. not going to the gym today Gardening is really is a good low impact workout. Get a little workout, get some good fresh air. Fresh 
You get sunlight. Fresh eats. You fresh want. food to eat afterward <laughs> to refuel. And I like it. Yep. Got 29 down here so far. Let's see what we ended up with. We were both a bit off. I said 30. She said 25. Probably be closer to 50, 60. I did not see that much, many more in well, there. All right, you'll see. But we did finish picking all of the watermelon. And we ended up with 62 of them. We threw some kind of out into the field too. We weren't sure if they were good or not. Didn't want to risk it. So if we would have included those, we probably would have been around like 75, something like that. So we had mm -hmm. a ton. So many. A ton of watermelon. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but it's a little late. So what we'll do is we gonna run some of these to some people really quick. 14. We'll 14 already claimed 14 of them so and then tomorrow since it's too late to you know really get into this cleanup tomorrow we'll probably uh we'll pick back up drag it out to the woods. the seed so I can have some seeds for next year. Not a bunch, but we got a few. work of that in there so that looks pretty good yeah well good for cleanup what you mean well, you still look raggedy because we ain't got no oh covering yeah what are we doing with the kale the kale i'm gonna let that go to seed probably this one i'll probably cut these two down since they're so skinny they're not as big as these other two so we'll probably cut those down but we'll probably leave just leaning. This one and that one. Okay. So, so we'll leave those. Next? So, since we're done in here, we're going to get these tarps moved out here. These things. I think we're going to move them over into the greenhouse because mm -hmm. there's still some section in there that we don't have covered up that needs to be covered up with tarp. So, we'll move those tarps over in there. These tarps are so annoying to move. It's the one thing very. about them. Very obnoxious. So. All right, let's get going. Six. I'm like a go, go, go type person. Like, let's get it done. Gerald is like a, how would you describe yourself? I gotta think it out. What happened with go, go, go is he just try to do stuff and they end up messing something up or not doing or not thinking it right and it could have been a lot easier. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. 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 I, I mean, go, go, go is in, okay, you give me clear instructions, what needs to be done? I do it. Yeah. And that's, I go until so it's done. So you wait for the clear instructions. Yeah, but you don't be having the clear instructions. I do have the clear instructions. 
Well, you yes, you eventually do, but I be wanting everything up front. Tell me what the plan is. It's not how this works. <laughs> mm. We'll start with this one. Ugh. What? These tarps are the worst. Yeah, they stink. They're disgusting. <laughs> Over here. Oh. This thing. It's, it's hot. Like oh my goodness. Burning up. Is this one tarp here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Big old tarp. Use this thing to hold it up. Gonna have to do a quick little cleanup in here too. See the part for the tarp wasn't covering. Mug glue like crazy, so gotta get this knocked down real quick. Another task complete. It was hot. It's very yeah. hot. Yeah, but I'm glad it's done. Yeah, gonna call this my, I was about to say don't call this a greenhouse for no reason, but what does that even mean? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> okay, what's next? See, there she, she'd be too ready to do I stuff. I want the agenda for the entire day. She, she can't take a second and look at the work and see that it was good before uh, moving uh, on to the next one. Oh, uh-uh, no. Last thing we gotta do is get these raggedy rocks. You put down silage tarp, you gotta put some weights on it. Since we had a bunch of silage tarp, we had a bunch of rocks we used for weight. So those things are splattered all around the garden. This, a lot of them. Small said she's not going to work out today. Well, I don't blame her because she ain't going to need to. Yeah, no. After we get done with this. When I be in the garden, I that's a workout. So, it's my workout for the day. These <laughs> are what we got to grab. See? Everywhere. All around the fence. Do you want to drive? You can just drive. Say less. Oh, man. Do not like this part. Oh, she got off I the can't tractor. not help. You what? I can't not help. Uh oh. A little deadlift. Deadlift, little squat, little bicep curl, a little bit of everything. This is why we need the little boy to get here. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly why the Lord sent us a little boy. If we have, if we had a girl, she could be helping too. Yeah, like, she'd be capacity. out here, <laughs> just not in the same capacity. See, that's why we need a girl though. She can help you do the stuff you gotta do. Yeah. Then the little boy to help me do the stuff I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Hard not to think of things to do out here from like a singular perspective, like just from my perspective, what I gotta do. I always, I ain't gonna say I forget, but sometimes it's not always in the forefront of my mind. I'm like, wow, I really do have a helpmate out here. And having a helpmate make this stuff a whole lot. Uh, I don't know if I can grab this rock. 
easier, faster, simpler, smoother, in any type of ease you can think of. God knew what he was doing. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the work up in the garden for today. Uh, really, next time y'all see us up there doing anything substantial, it'll be laying the foundation for next year, basically, next putting the covering year. and everything down. So, yep, it starts now. It starts now. So, until then, we'll see y'all next time. Thank you for kicking with us. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Peace.